Hello, I'm Dr. Sergey Turin from Northwestern University, and I'm the first author of the study on gluteal vein anatomy that I'm presenting on behalf of our senior authors, Dr. Daniel Krokmal and Dr. John Kim. I'd like to start off by thanking the Aesthetic Society Education and Research Foundation for sponsoring our work. Our study had two objectives, to improve our understanding of gluteal vein anatomy in a live person and to investigate patient positioning as a variable that could mitigate gluteal vein injury risk. We conducted MRI venography of eight healthy female volunteers in multiple positions, and there are two key findings that I'd like to highlight. First, the inferior gluteal vein in vivo runs immediately deep to the gluteus maximus muscle under the center of the buttock at a depth of approximately five and a half centimeters from the skin. And two, by placing the patient in a jackknife or lateral decubitus position, we saw that the caliber of the large gluteal veins decreases by as much as 27%, possibly making these vessels less prone to injury by either making them smaller targets for direct cannula injury or by relieving tension on the vessel wall, making them less prone to traction injury. Some have asked why study the anatomy of these vessels when all we need to do is stay superficial to the muscle and we're safe. And to be fair, Staying subcutaneous is the absolute cornerstone of safety in gluteal fat grafting. However, as of right now, there's no method to ensure that every provider is always able to stay superficial to the muscle. As we know from the published survey studies that surgeons have placed fat into the muscle while thinking they were actually subcutaneous. At this time, we think it makes sense to develop practices that both decrease the chance of an inadvertently deep cannula pass as well as decrease the likelihood of vessel injury should such a pass happen. In summary, we hope that our study results will help surgeons avoid gluteal vein injury by providing them data on the in vivo location of these vessels, as well as presenting patient positioning as a variable that they could modify to decrease the risk of gluteal vein injury. Thank you.